Hello, everybody. It's Brett. I'm with Michael, and we have a message for you today. And uh, Michael and I wanted to make special videos. So, Michael, I'm going to hand it straight to you. Yeah, thank you, Brett. Thank you, the listeners out there. You might be wondering why we are now having a small uh, few minutes uh, video about science is a new religion, because that script isn't finished by far. The thing is, though, that I had to stop my research because I was busy with another German research of the conspiracy series, which I then intended and uh, then handed over in uh, English uh, and doing together with Brett at the moment. So therefore, the sessions of Science is a New Religion is just put on hold, but will be continued in the near future. I think it will be on quite around summer or so. Because in the meantime, there happened uh, some things out there. If you know what I mean, I will show you also a little thing which is coming up. Actually, there are two scripts that I was intended to continue. The first script cannot be found anymore. And I think that is for the reason that I am not going into this because it is simply not meant to be. It was about a special chapter in the Bible, but maybe I will find it in the future. I don't know on which uh, computer, on which stick it could be, but I haven't found it and I did extensive research. But the other thing is about the intro of the series is Science and New Religion. And if you remember that intro, yeah, you know that picture of the so-called Atomium in Brussels. So you might be wondering why I didn't go into the atomium uh, atom at all. <laughs> and I can tell you that because I did not have any time to finish on that subject. But uh, you definitely remember that uh, famous uh, picture here, which was the introduction of our series. And so therefore, I think it, it is a very interesting subject to go also into this, um, especially when I will inform you that something else was happening. Because I've been contacted by a listener called Chris on his uh, YouTube account, Statism for Freedom. And he was really going into the series and I had uh, several conversations with him and he supported us and a very big uh, thank you for that, Chris. And uh, as he was coming or is coming from Ukraine and he thought about, well, why don't you go into the atomic age and, and all the things around it? Uh, I responded to him and I said, yes, that was, was my concern uh, right from the beginning. Therefore, I chose, you see here, the picture of the atomium in Brussels. But I was just simply uh, lacking time to go into this, uh, what I wanted to do, actually. So and uh, and Chris coming from the Ukraine, of course, in Ukraine, you see, there are several things about the atomic age and uh, atomic history. For example, you got the very infamous nuclear reactor plant of Chernobyl. And therefore, you see, I, I think also his uh, questions uh, arises because he's so very much uh, near this uh, famous uh, accident or incident. I would like to show that. I don't know if you are uh, used to it. This is here the uh, Chernobyl disaster. And therefore, I was starting a very interesting research on all of that. And this research has not finished yet. So therefore, I have to back for a little bit more time because I'm doing uh, German and English sessions with conspiracies at the moment. But I have, I think, at least 50% ready of that script. But uh, as history happens, at the moment now, you see that in Ukraine, there are some things happening at the moment. There are so-called wars, wars and rumors of wars in Ukraine happening at the moment. And you see that therefore I thought about that, uh, what to like to ask our listeners to um, pray also for Chris, who is most likely in Ukraine at the moment. I haven't got any uh, contact with him lately, but uh, I think that would also help as we are a Christian channel that uh, you listeners out there would like to include uh, Chris in your prayers because I hope he uh, will make it through this uh, very hectic and uh, violent and dangerous times. So now you know what we are up to. We are just putting the sessions on a hold. But nevertheless, 
research is continuing and therefore you might expect to do us in about summer uh, sessions and sessions and sessions at least six sessions i reckon at least uh, about the atomic age so that's what we will talk about extensively about the atomic age or about atomic powers and atomic bonds, etc., 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 because there is much, 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 much distraction also happening there. It is extremely interesting and therefore uh, we will include it in the series of Science is the New Religion. So, so please expect uh, the continuation of the series Science is the New Religion and uh, therefore thank you very much for your support so far and I'm handing it back to my beloved brother Brad to close this small trailer. Thank you very much and Maranatha. Thank you, Michael, and thank you out there for your support. That's all of you. We greatly appreciate the continuation and uh, support of the work that Michael's doing and uh, also the work that uh, others in the body of Christ are doing at the moment. And uh, although we may not agree all of us at certain times the main point is that uh, we are gonna give it a try we're we're here to you know it, it can be really difficult at times michael because we get a lot of uh what seems to be discouraging comments at times but you just have to uh have to chalk that up with the uh the greater message here and that is the gospel and the gospel has been uh, pretty much eroded and uh, uh, had great damage uh, done to it through those who claim to be part of the body of Christ in this world. So we have a, a, a definite battle going on in the spiritual realms, and that's what we try and pay attention to on this channel. So our prayers and support for those of you out there in very troubling places such as Ukraine. And uh, we'll look forward to catching up with you next time, Maranatha.